We are here with Kevin Bush of Orr, who is Matthew. My name is Aaron yeah. Wolf. I'm the music director at 88.9. And and I am Kim Shine. I'm the production manager for Hyphen. All right. And Kevin, who is Matthew exactly? Well, Matthew's my middle name. Uh, spelled a little differently, but uh, yeah, it's just me expressing myself you know exploring different genres and uh you know going off on my own like my solo voyage into artistry i guess this is not like an alter ego i mean i know it's your middle name but come on it's a, a whole different person that we're creating here that you've created here i, I suppose you know I, i've thought a lot about <laughs> this um yeah i'm i may be in a cowboy hat soon uh just okay. You know, keep your eyes open. You know, I'm ex I'm I'm exploring. It's expanding. Yeah. I like it. So tell me, did you uh create all the music and all the production for the EP Montana? Because I know you wrote the songs. Yeah. Uh I, I um I actually recorded a lot of the drum parts a long time ago. And I kind of just started using those samples uh when I was putting this uh together. So yeah, I recorded it mixed it and uh, got it mastered, but put it out into the world. How long is yeah. that process? Yeah. Uh, for this, like endless, because a lot of, it can, it can get pretty uh, detail oriented. As an audio engineer, like you can, we're, we're listening for everything. So, uh, but the songs came together in about, about a year. So, yeah. And when did you start writing these songs as Matthew? Like, was it kind of at the height of Immortal Girlfriend? I mean, Immortal Girlfriend is still an active thing, but was there like a quieter time for that project where you needed to devote a little extra time to music and you had to like sit down and, and do it yourself because of, you know, the situation of the world or just, you know, any any reason? Yeah. Uh, I've I've always wanted to do something solo for a long time, and I think part of even uh, the work in a mortal girlfriend was uh, me expressing myself, but through this very specific lens, and because uh, I like that kind of music. But with this, there was no there was no uh, rules, so it's just like everything I love can go into it. Like try to force it in, and. Uh, yeah, um, not so much that I, I was like hiding behind other projects, but I, I can totally get, I throw myself all the way into stuff. And uh, so I, I'm all caught up into what this stream is. So it was fun to do that for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and we don't ever hear you sing. I don't think we've heard you sing on any of the Immortal Girlfriend projects. So not to yet. me, when I... Not yet, not yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so when I heard your voice on this, I was super surprised because it's, it's you have a beautiful voice. The depth of it, it's 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 great. Um, so I wanted to know where did the inspiration to finally share your voice with us? Where did that part just come from? Like it's not just going to be an instrumental project, or you're not going mm -hmm. going to have other other artists singing over your music. You are the yeah. one who's doing the vocals. Where did that inspiration come from? Hmm. I guess I was finally making the music that I wanted to make, like the sounds. And like, it kind of just came naturally. It wasn't like, a, it's not that I don't sing. It's just, I, I haven't sung on a project before. And even with that, it, there's a million ways to mic a voice and to record vo vocals. So, it was all kind of an experiment. I hate Aaron, to keep I wanna... saying that over and over again, but it really was like, there's no, it's like, let's try this. Or I wrote this, let's try to sing it to this, you know? That's all, that's that's pretty much it. I want to know who's the the better singer. Aaron, I don't know <laughs> what you what you think he'll say, but are you well, a better I'll singer tell you or this. your brother? <laughs> I'll tell you this. We both use a lot of tuning. Okay. In, 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 uh, most most recordings you hear nowadays are tuned. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, let's let's 
let's be honest, you know, because it's got to live beyond us. Uh, mm -hmm. So we can be in perfect live, but a recording, in my opinion, should like be the best version of it, even if it is fake. So, hey, that's not all. That's not 100 percent me in there. I, I, I'll I'll be honest. Or I, Thank you, T-Pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you yes. for the, uh, the nudging because I need it for sure. <laughs> Yeah. So um, to me, this EP Montana feels like a melding of the electronic world with the acoustic world. And it's also a peek into a really beautiful, intimate environment. Yet there's this like really stark presence. So what sounds and vibes did you want to explore with this particular project? Well, it's it's funny, actually. I have a story. Um, I was really into fingerstyle acoustic guitar where they're playing the bass and then the melody and the rhythm all at once. I just fell in love with that kind of playing. And uh, I met my like guitar idol. He was this French Canadian dude. Amazing. I, I knew all of his music. Like he was just a big influence. And uh, I met him in person and our interaction wasn't very great. And it, it kind of put me off to electronic or uh, acoustic music for a long time. Like I just kind of stopped playing started dabbling in like synthesizers and stuff. I mean, this is a long, this is before Immortal Girlfriend, but I think I coming back to that acoustic world um, naturally uh, happened in this, in this project. Like the, the, the marriage made the most sense now that I think back on it. Mm -hmm. uh, Were you like realization? I just realized actually. Yeah, or you're just like kind of yearning to go back to basics, kind of like the original sounds that really like made an impression on you that you kind of skirted away from where you're just like, okay, I need to find a way to like mix the two and balance out, you know, who I've become as a musician. Yeah, most definitely. Because a synthesizer is like electricity that you can shape the signal of it and express yourself through it but an acoustic instrument is like it's really locked in and I think they both speak to me like in different ways but yeah mm -hmm. well I'll say what definitely spoke to me were the lyrics I'm a big lyrics person so whenever a song is good even when it's not check the lyrics right and to me each of the songs sounded like poetry or they read like poetry and kind of like love poems um mm -hmm. so the project felt like the span of a relationship and so I was wondering you know am I going too deep with that or is this kind of us looking in on the arc on the lifespan of a relationship I, I like that uh I like the way you put that because it wasn't intentionally like uh, written that way a lot of the songs are just way out of order but um when 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 you when you look at it that way it's it's cool like that's what I love about art because uh, mm -hmm. that wasn't necessarily intended but um you can get someone else can get something more out of it maybe you know so no so then, it wasn't it wasn't intentional but I mean so there's, there's real songs? love stories I got no sure of course I'm, I'm, I'm expressing myself are you are you talking to anyone or are you talking to just Montana that you know just the area in just like a specific area there that just inspired you like who are you talking to what are you talking uh, to huh give I us the deep I don't know I don't know uh how, how deep do you want to go I mean you know how much time do we got here <laughs> you know we how much time Aaron we, we have a little bit of time we, we, we want to know about this project yeah, yeah. we want to know about this I wanted to know too, you know, you know, the EP's name is Montana. How did that particular place figure into things, creatively right. speaking? So mm -hmm. I was going to ask you that too anyway, Kevin. Oh, right on. Perfect. This is a yeah. perfect segue. Yeah. Uh, no, the, I, I first uh, went to Montana uh, at a time when I was just kind of, I knew that I had, there were dreams I wanted to achieve, but I was stuck in my job and you know, not enjoying, not going after the things that like make me feel alive. And that was the ultimate, like get out of your comfort zone where I'm, we hiked into the mountains uh, and we stayed uh, 
on this lake that was at the top of a mountain. For some reason, I couldn't put that together. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm grew up next to Lake Michigan. Like, there's this giant lake that no one can see, but from up here, and it was like our own little private like space, and it was just so big and expansive, and and uh, it for me at the time it reminded me that you're small, and life is big, and you can there's any you can go to any heights like the world is yours like go explore it, and I think that trip really it just changed everything, and I started you know I got back into you know electronic music, but you know I got off pause and just started to go for it so. That's the that place has a special uh, place with me. The mountains mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. So most projects they have a takeaway message, and I wanted to know um, what's the intention or what's that takeaway for your current fans, your new fans for this project. Hmm. Do what you love, you know. There's a lot of songs about love, like, I don't know, pursue that, pursue that, like loving people, loving yourself, like uh, better, you know, taking care of yourself, like you are an individual and uh, you can do things that no one else can do. And you have to bring that to the table. And that's all I'm doing in this, you know, so just go bring your thing to the table, whether it's. I like Hasha Tyler, I like taking care of people. I like hosting amazing radio shows, you know, like, you know, like go do it. We need you there. We need you in that position. So, yeah. Why do you think that that message must be said over and over again? Because I, whether you speak to artists, whether you speak to just your parents, just anybody, there's always that message of make sure that you are true to who you are. Um, mm -hmm. Why do you think that message has to be told so often including with this project which is a good message to share i feel like nowadays people are uh it's so easy to take other ideas like what is tiktok it's a app where people do a thing and then millions of people do the exact same thing they take the audio from it they do the dance they make the funny face they scare their dog or whatever <laughs> whatever the challenge is and uh individuality is what I think or the lack of people being individuals can make life dull and I think that's what we're seeing like people are like doing the same things they think they have the same path as other people and you'll never fit into it I have my voice you know I'm gonna sing with it you know and and because uh, we need it that's what spices life up I'm telling you man I'm telling you Mm, anyway this yeah, turned very yeah. motivational I'm so sorry no. <laughs> I, lo I love it we I like to get deep here that. yeah and I think uh, on a Friday you could use a little extra motivation you know going into mm -hmm. the new week <laughs> mm -hmm. but um yeah I mean on that note I guess you know what song from this EP had like the most impact on you personally what was kind of like maybe like a mantra or something that you know, you were working through in your mind and kind of needed to get out in a song. Like, was there one in particular that was that for you? Hmm. I will, I'll say I have two. Okay. Uh, I would say the song Fawn, the last song. Um, Love that song. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the, that that's probably the most personal. I feel like, because it was almost a, uh, even though it could read like a love note or whatever, um, it was more of like a, I'm looking at myself and like what what areas am I uh, not being 100 you know like we, we can hide from other people but we can hide from ourselves too and uh, so that was uh, that's kind of that song it's that exclamation point um, but herbivore for me uh, just the song the, the textures in it the way it sounds especially at the, the first 40 seconds or so, it just, the way it made me feel helped start the rest of the project. Like everything kind of fit, came into place when those things clicked for me, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was the one that like spoke to me most too. Mm -hmm. I was just like, dang, <laughs> this, is, this is something I want to explore more. 
Like that was the first song I heard and yeah, it left a really good impression. So I think, yeah, yeah, whatever you're going for, Kevin, you, you achieved it in that one. Thank you. It'll be nice to see how other people react to it. Cause when you think of Immortal Girlfriend, um, par for you to me was the one that was most closely aligned to the group sound, but everything else totally, totally you. So it's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So um, we both want to know, is this going to be just a studio <laughs> project or are you planning any shows, live events, going to have a band, video? Yeah, I want visuals, man. <laughs> I want visuals. Okay. Yeah. Others. Um, oh, my God. From the group, that video was amazing. So we need to know what's up. <laughs> oh, man. We gotta work with those guys again. Shout out Bash Film. Thanks, thanks again for that. Uh, they know they set the bar high, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, I would, I would hope. To, I, I have a few things in the works. Like, you don't wanna, you don't wanna say you know, count your chickens before they hatch, you know. But, uh, I, I would definitely like to play live next year. Um, I don't know what that's gonna look like yet. I'm still exploring that. So if you know any like marching bands or how to, I don't know. I have no idea. It, it could be anything. Um, so shows, visuals, all that stuff. Just keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Keep listening. Share it with uh, your loved ones this holiday. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, it's already it's already Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, come on. It's it's a beautiful project, and we're so excited to share it with the Radio Milwaukee listeners and see where it goes next. Yeah, thanks yeah, for talking thanks. with us, man. Thank you. Thanks for playing anything. Thanks, thanks for all the support with The Moral Girlfriend and all the weird side stuff we get into. You know, you, you've always been a support, so we thank you. It's a you. fun ride. It's a fun ride. Mm-hmm.